Hey, how's it going? This is Billy Paulson from Giacotti in San Francisco. Today I have Tobias McGowan from Fresh Holistics. He's going to talk to us a little bit about uh, sleep patterns, some ideal rest periods, and a little uh, some pre-bedtime hints on what you should be doing right before you sleep at night. Yeah, thanks, man. So today we want to cover our circadian rhythms. Basically, our circadian rhythms are our 24-hour sleep-wake cycles. And these sleep wake cycles are directly correlated with the sun, the moon, the universe. Uh, so there's a huge connection. So our bodies are naturally tuned in to these cycles. So the reason why sleep is so important is because it's our main uh, recovery cycle. So when we're recovering, generally we want to think of um, the times of about 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the morning as our most essential times. And that's about eight hours of sleep. So when we're looking at eight hours of sleep, first uh, four hours of sleep from about 10 to 2 is usually our physical repair and then from about uh, 2 to 6 is our psychological repair so if you think about it in terms of like uh, some people that end up going to bed late and then they get that later repair say let's say for instance like a computer engineer or something uh, I just throw that out there because a lot of clients are like that and then they um, end up staying up late and then they end up getting a little bit of sleep and they're still able to function psychologically but physically they're just drained and their body starts to just really you know waste away because they're cutting into that 10 to 2 time yeah that really essential uh, time when we really need to be recovering gotcha another thing that we want to consider is that the seasons do play a role so um, what we do want to think about is during summertime, we do have a little bit more light, so we will be going to bed a little bit later. So summertime is kind of like Margaritaville. We get to you know, kind of hang out and you know, have fun, uh, go to bed a little later, and then you know, when winter comes around, you know, the sun's not there for as long. So it's kind of like hibernation time. So a lot of what we need to think about is making sure that we get optimal sleep depending on the season too. Uh, so let's go over some basics um, as far as really optimizing our sleep and a couple tips nutritionally and as far as lifestyle too. So the first one is uh, when we're setting up our sleep cycle, we want to make sure that we're setting up a good sleep environment. So anywhere from like an hour to two hours before you go to bed, we want to start turning off all the EMFs, those electromagnetic fields. Uh, so any type of TVs, phones, computers, anything that's really flashing, it's going to increase the cortisol significantly and we're not going to be able to optimize and get to bed um, properly. So we want to turn off all those EMFs. Um, we also want to make sure that we're staying hydrated throughout the day. That hydration is going to make it so we optimize our sleep. We're making sure that we don't drink too late because we don't want to be up like the living dead uh, urinating all night. So. Uh, and even then, water, right? Like even yeah. too much water later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So making sure it's more than uh, earlier times of the day. And then making sure, uh, as far as nutritionally, that we're not uh, having any or too much caffeine, too much um, alcohol, or making sure that our blood sugar is staying regulated with the right uh, ratios of proteins, carbs, and fats, uh, so that we're not up um, and really stimulated later on at night. So. So those are some really key tips as far as you know, sleep environment and some good nutritional tips for making sure we're optimizing our sleep and getting great recovery. Awesome. Thanks, Tobias. And as you guys know, recovery just as important as the work you're doing. Yeah, you can exactly. work your butt off in the gym all day long. Without the recovery, you're never going to get the full uh, max results that you could be getting from your workouts.